God's name is Yahuwah, or Yahweh, or Elohim. Jesus' name is Yahusha, or Yeshua, or Yahawashai. The Holy Spirit's name is Rahakadesh. These are their original Hebrew names. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. That's John 5.43. Let that soak in. Dad, thank you again for your majestic presence. Thank you for your son, Yahusha, for your Holy Spirit, Rahakadesh. And thank you for ministering to us right now in Yahushua's name. We love you. We worship you. We thank you in Yahushua's name. You will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. John eight thirty two. Ain't nothing but the truth. In order to tell the truth, you must know the truth. In order to think the truth, you must know the truth. The bottom line here is you must know the truth. And that ain't nothing but the truth. If you don't know the truth, what can you do when disheartening thoughts continually plague your mind when all you can think of is maybe God doesn't want me because I have failed him before. Maybe I'm a hopeless failure. Maybe he will never answer my prayers. Listen, understand when you are bombarded by such false, devastating messages it's very likely you are under attack by the enemy. And when you're a child of Yahuwah God, Satan attacks mostly in your sleep. He tries to plant his seeds in your sleep. See, he knows what most depresses you and stresses you and will twist how you see your circumstances to undermine your security in Yahushua Christ. Should I say that again? Understand when you are bombarded by such false devastating messages or thoughts, it's very likely you are under attack by the enemy. And when you're a child of Yahuwah God, Satan attacks mostly in your sleep. He tries to plant his seeds in your sleep. See, he knows what most depresses you. He knows what most stresses you and will twist how you see your circumstances to undermine your security in Yahushua Christ. This is the time to remember that the enemy is the father of lies. John 8, 44. What he says may appear to be true because he coincides with what your eyes may have seen and ears may have heard or what you think your eyes see now or what you think your ears hear now. But don't give in to his onslaught. Listen, those demoralizing messages are absolutely false, and they do not take into account what God is doing in the unseen. So reject what the enemy tells you and immediately fill your mind with the truth of Scripture. And what is true about you? 
The Father loves you with an everlasting love. That's Jeremiah 31, 3. He enables you to do all he has called you to do. That's 2 Corinthians 3, 5. And he always answers when you call. That's Jeremiah 33, 3. So wait on Yahuwah, God, and trust him to help you. You'll be glad you did. And that ain't nothing but the truth. You be blessed now, you hear? Peace.